Excel's best feature is Power Query. And one of Power Query's best features is unpivot other columns. Also, I'll show you how to do pivot as well. Here we go. I've got some data and it's laid out badly because we've got separate months in separate columns and we've got a mixture here of percentages and whole numbers and things. So it's not laid out nicely for doing some reporting of it. So what we do, click inside the area of data, go to data from table slash range. Now ideally turn your table into a table first. What I mean by that, control T, click OK, give it a name. So you go to table design and you change the table name to something sensible, table data. Always give your table a name if you can, right? So here we go, we've got it. We then go data from table slash range. Here comes the magic. Highlight these two columns. They are columns going down the screen. The problem is months is going across. So the two nice columns we highlight, right click, and then the magic, unpivot other columns. Glorious, we've now got a date column and a numerical column. Perfect. Now the issue is we've got a mixture here of new customers and satisfaction ratings. I wanna flip those into separate columns. So I'm gonna do the opposite thing. I'm gonna pivot that column. So pivot it, we'll take the different items and put them into separate columns. Okay, so here we go, transform, pivot column. And you'll get asked, normally you get asked the wrong thing, this box here, salesperson. I don't want the count of salesperson. I want the value to be showing up in the numbers column. So I go to value and then click OK. And there we go. We've got the new customers, the satisfaction rating. I'll even change this to a percentage data type so it's stored like that. If you don't love Power Query, then check this out. Just click on this little ABC, turn it into a date, and it even gets that right. Right click, okay, transform, month, end of month. Come on, this is awesome. Call this date, and we're good, okay? Call this results or something for reporting. and we're ready to load it. So we go to the Home tab, close and load, load two. Table in a new worksheet, click OK, and there's my data. And it's refreshable. So if I come back here and add another, okay, with new customer, or let's, let's put a whole new column in here with something else, okay, with one, two, and three percent, for example. Okay, and I come back here, right click, refresh. There we go, there's another with something else. Awesome. Hope you like these videos. If you do, follow me here, like this video, bookmark it, and I'll catch you in the next one.